funny looking guy. Speaking of funny looking guys, dude, so I was reading some stuff about the whole Pete Davidson and like Kim K relationship <laughs> thing. Yeah. And like, obviously, we th everybody thinks it's weird. It, it is weird. It's a weird relationship. I'm but I'm smelling burning conspiracy theory <laughs> cooking right now. Is that what you're smelling? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're you're smelling correctly. Uh, what am I smelling? So basically, people are saying that they think this whole relationship between Kim K and Pete Davidson is a cover, uh, like is is to cover up the whole Astro World thing, and like all the uh, lives that are lost and everything, and like make them look not look less bad, but draw like draw attention from it. Okay, so so Pete Davidson and. Kim K were caught going to what Disney World like around the same time, the Astro Fest stuff happened. Yeah, like it was. It, they were all pretty close. And and so now people are thinking it's a cover up for the events. So we stop talking about that shit. To yeah, draw attention away from it. Yeah. You think Pete knows about this? See, that's the thing. Like, if that were true, like, I don't know if Pete would be the type of guy to go through with that. Well, no, I would hope not, but, like, what if Kim K has a little secret love bag over Pete's head, and she's like, baby, I'm Kim K, I like you. But in reality, he was the most best suspecting target. He'd be dating everybody. Fuck it, let's just throw Kim K on her. The Illuminati... I don't know if I want to say this and get kidnapped. Well, the Illuminati. The Illuminati was like, we need to retarget the situation. Because Travis Scott's actually the devil. Mm. Travis Scott's the devil. The Illuminati know about it, but they let him sing so he doesn't destroy our world. Huh. Strange. Interesting. You know, that's it's funny you talk about the Illuminati because, uh, you know, just recently Young Dolph passed away. Oh. His recent album that, is that came strange. out this year, I'm going to have to check really quick. But it was, uh, it had to do with the Illuminati. It had an album cover with an eyeball, <clears throat> like that. Yeah, so it's like, Paper Route Illum it says Paper Route Illuminati, mm. which is, uh, you know, sus. And, uh, yeah, like his, I guess his thing, or his, like, I don't know if it's his studio or whatever who he signed to, but, like, it says it's the Paper Route Empire. So, like, that's kind of sus. I'll show it in the camera real quick, just so you guys can see. But, uh. Yeah, it's an eyeball with, like, hands around it, like, in a triangle, yeah, in a you know. Yeah, triangle around his eyeball. And that came out this year, which, that's kind of sus. I mean, and now he just passed away, and he was literally picking up cookies. Yeah, to he get was to, literally going to his bakery in his hometown. To go get cookies for his mom, like, that's terrible. That is terrible. But that's pretty sus to see, you know, that his album was at. And then seeing all this stuff going on. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty, it's a big conspiracy theory, I think. It is a big conspiracy theory, but at the same time, like, I don't know, like, it, there's a lot of strange things happening that, like, I feel like we should question a little bit, you know? 